today, Court. Yeah, Apple just wrapped up its uh, rundown here of the iPhone 14. This is the regular model. In fact, I'm watching right now. They're just about to unveil the pros. But as far as the 14 goes, it's going to come in a new size. They're calling it the iPhone 14 Plus. That's the size of those bigger Max models on the pro side that we've seen for the last few years. Uh, the Mini is gone. That's going to disappoint some people. Instead, they're favoring that bigger screen. And then uh, the cool new feature they're really uh, highlighting this time is this satellite SOS feature, meaning if you're in an area without any cell service, the phone can help you detect a satellite in the, in the sky and uh, send either a message or a voice memo to uh, emergency services if you, if you need help. Those are the big things. On top of that, the AirPods Pro, the new version, the first time they've had a, a new version of the AirPods Pro since the original launch. Better noise canceling, better battery life, but overall pretty similar to the current version. Uh, just uh, minor iterative upgrades there. And then, like you said, Apple Watches, the big one being that Apple Watch Ultra, an $800 watch catering to uh, extreme athletes who like to go mountain climbing and diving and walking through snowstorms or whatever other extreme sports. That's going to be a, quite a niche product, but they did spend a long time talking about it, Court. So talk to me a little bit about Apple's uh, move to, this, to a bigger uh, form factor, bigger size on the phone. For a long time, Apple resisted that. Samsung got it out in front of them on it, and then finally they played a little catch-up, and, 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 and now it seems like uh, they're moving completely away from smaller size phones. Yeah, that's right, Tyler. They've kind of seesawed on this uh, back and forth over the years, going from big to small, big to small. Um, but it, overall, people prefer the larger size phones. There are, of course, a cohort of people who do like the smaller phones, and they still have that iPhone SE, which is mm -hmm. um, the more traditional size with the home button if you're into that. But for everyone else, the newest, latest, and greatest iPhones are always going to be those bigger sizes, the regular, more cinched size, and then the biggest size, which approaches 7-inch screen.